tranquil temple where all that is audible is the reading of scriptures. The voice comes from a blue-eyed monk, whose Buddhist name is Toksang. Five years ago, he came to Korea to fulfill his meditation. He took interest in Korean Buddhism then and entered the religion. Recently, he has become particularly intrigued by one person. Wanhyo Desa was a monk who lived many centuries ago in Korea. He brought Buddhism to the common people, whereas before it had been a religion of the aristocracy and the ruling classes. An important figure in Korean Buddhism, as well as the founder of popular Buddhism, great priest Wanhyo. A man born in the 7th century, receiving the spotlight again today in the 21st century. It's a clear fall morning at Tongdo Temple. Tuksang decides to follow the footsteps of Wanyo in search of his enlightenment and find out how he became the greatest thinker of Korean Buddhism. I hope to learn about the way Wanyo Desa lived and the way in which he taught and interacted with people while he was teaching them and uh, instructing them in how to practice uh, Buddhism in a way which would be helpful in their everyday lives. What kind of world did Wanyo dream of? The journey begins in Gyeongju. It is a location of Shilla's Buddhist culture, which was the climax of the history of Buddhism in Korea. Of course, great priest Wanyo was a central figure in Shilla's Buddhism. Bunhwang Temple, a place that cannot go unmentioned in Wanyo's life. <laughs> Wanhyo spent almost half his life at Punhwang Temple. Visitors come here in search of the traces of his philosophy. A portrait of great priest Wanyo can be found at the temple. Taksang catches a glimpse of the world the great priest yearned for in the determined face in the portrait. In this picture, Wanyo's nim looks uh, very serious. Um, makes me think of the uh, the text of his that we study, uh, the admonitions to beginning students. He talks about uh, uh, practicing strongly, um, uh, and especially in the beginning, uh, so that you can attain great enlightenment. I think this is his good teaching to, uh, to very young monks. Wanyu is considered a religious reformer in Korean Buddhism. During the Shilla dynasty, when Buddhism belonged mostly to aristocracy, Wanyo spread Buddhism to the general public. Wanyo's movement was about enlightening the poor and the uneducated, and at the base of it was the Hwajang philosophy. He was given the title Hwajeng Guksa for this great achievement. Wanyo's Hwajeng philosophy was revolutionary. He dreamt of a world where everyone is equal and one through Buddha's words. He already realized the concept of the general public 1,300 years ago and made it possible for anyone to memorize Namu Amitabul. The dispute regarding my words are right and others are not right, found in his representative work, Shin Muna Jenglun, shows that his philosophy was about encompassing those different from himself. 
항상 그 이해관계로 인해서 그 다툼이 심하기 때문에 예, 그 평화가 깨지는 경우가 굉장히 많아요. 또 그렇지만 우리 인간은 평화를 공유하려고 하는 그 당위성을 가지고 있죠. 그런 문제를 해결하라고 제시한 것이 이제 화쟁 사상이죠. 그래서 이제 그 화쟁 사상은 커다랗게 보면은 그것이 이제 평등 정신의 바탕을 둔 것이다. A Japanese national treasure which depicts the lives of great priests Wan Yo and Yusang. In Japanese national treasure, Kegonshu Soshi Eden or Palm Jongjo Sawejon, one can discover the life and philosophy of Wan Yo. He repeatedly taught his disciples how the world can become one. Little by little, Tuxang is beginning to see the greatness of Won Hyo, to understand the reason why he is revered and why he is called a Buddhist revolutionary. Tuxang's next destination is what is now known as Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi Province. It is where an incident that drastically changed Won Hyo's life took place. He visits a small temple called Sudo Temple. Back then, to travel to China, people had to travel through the West Sea. Sudo Temple was founded on the presumed location of the route that Wanyo must have taken. Visitors of the temple can learn how he came to open the way to Buddhism for commoners. Wan Hyo, born to an aristocratic family, was one of the greatest thinkers of the time. What happened to him on his way to study in China? Wan Hyo and Eun Sang encountered a storm shortly after entering the mountains and frantically looked for a place to sleep. When Wan Yo woke up the next day, he realized that he had slept in a grave. Wan Yo had no choice but to spend another night there due to the rain. And in his dream, he was terrorized by ghosts. This experience made him realize that everything is controlled by the mind. And he decided not to pursue his journey to China. One who realized that the same place can be perceived differently through his mind. This realization was what prompted him to spread Buddhism to commoners. In Songgo Sengjeon, which was written in the Song Dynasty, Won Hyo is depicted as having frequented drinking houses to spend time with commoners. Through friendly approaches, including dance and song, he showed that everyone is equal within the ways of Buddha. The first thing is that 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 the first 내재되어 있는 그 고뇌를 함께 풀어주는 것이 부다의 일이에요. 부다는 신분 꾸입니다. 예. 어떤 신분 꾸이냐? 평화를 일반 민중에게, 대중에게, 인민에게 전파하고 그래서 그 평화를 심어주는 그런 의미에서 일꾼이란 말이에요. Great priest Won Yo abstained from the temptation of status and riches to live a life of creating a world of equality. This is why his teachings are essential to us living in the 21st century, tormented by anguishes of wars and conflicts. It was a short journey, 
but the lasting effect of the encounter with Won Hyo is sure to be long. Won Hyo Desa, uh, because of his great awakening experience, uh, was able to bring Buddhism to the people uh, in a way that monks in Korea had not been able to uh, before his time. Uh, by not attaching uh, to the precepts or to cultural ideas. Uh, he was able um, to teach everyone. Uh, and this is his, his great legacy to Korea and to the world. To practice the true teachings of Buddha, Won Hyo became a monk who broke the rules himself to create Buddhism for everyone. His noble ambition inspired not only Shilla, but also its transcendence today. But do we indeed live in the ideal world which one you dreamed of?